like some of the uh, um, the old school stuff, just that stuff. I was always thinking ahead, what do I need to do to make sure that I'm ready for the next year? So other thing that I was doing was I was taking uh, specific supplements for me, like getting my blood work tested twice a year. So I would get my blood work tested, and then my blood work, my levels would come back, and it would show me I need to change this. I need to take as much vitamin D right now. And so I would do that quite a bit. And as far as doing the year, what me and Trot would do is we would have max days, even during the season, so that we would not lose. So we would see how much we can bench and how much we can squat at certain points during the season so that we can make sure that we're continuing to gain and not lose. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. that's something else. I, I just wanted to, you see this picture? I could do that with one hand. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, you said that you, there were two lockers for you in the Eagles locker room. One for you, and what was the other one for? Well, that's for that, it's for Idiot Man Weapon X. Man. He was like, <laughs> Weapon X. Weapon X. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, really where Weapon X came from was during the playoffs, the networks are looking for stories. And I had a lot of um, Wolverine figurines, not dolls. They call them dolls. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not dolls. They're figurines. I had a bunch of figurines and, and uh, comic books in my locker. And so that some fans had sent me and some of them I had purchased myself. And so they was like, what's, what's, what's up with this dude here? And I explained him why I like him. Um, and they kind of put two and two together. They did a, a, a feature on me with it. And ever since then, the people have been calling me Weapon X. All right. So Vince Lombardi said one time that what he loved about football is that football was controlled violence. And you're like the poster child for that. Do we have a video? Just a quick 10 second clip. I'm just looking at a couple of these heads. Do we have that? The definition of a concussion has changed so many times right. that we, I don't know what it is anymore. So if you're saying that I knock myself unconscious, then I would say probably three. Three times. If you're saying that a year, you see the stars, you know, you, you get up and you see the wounds and you see the stars. That was a good point. I don't know how many times I've Okay. President Obama said he would never let his son play professional football. What do you say to that? I'm well, trying to play that stuff. Well, no, but that's, that's his opinion of, of, of the situation. Because I played the game, and this is what I, I've learned so much from the game. The game has given me, it's, it's probably taken some things away from me, but it's given me so much, not just a money things. I'm talking about some of the things that I've learned from, having, from being forced to be teammates with some people I don't like. I, like T.O.? I mean, Tio's like great, I love Tio. You like Tio? I just didn't like some stuff that he did. Okay. All right. <laughs> stuff that he did. All right. But, but those, that's what it teaches you. In order for us to go forward as a team, I have to put down some of the things that mean something to me in order for us to get along. And I, it, it teaches me how to lose properly. It teaches me how to control my emotions, to be controlled in my chaos. So it, it teaches me too much, and my son, is going, he, he's playing right now. So. Um, it, to me, it's about being educated. You educate yourself on the, the proper techniques of tackling, the proper equipment to wear, uh, better helmets, better technology now. But it's too, many, it's too much that it teaches you that uh, I, I could not have my son not do that. So at the, uh, you weren't resigned with the Eagles, and the fans went berserk. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to ask you to go into who to blame and that sort of thing, but what did that do to you when you weren't resigned by the No, that hurt. It hurt. Um, you know, the closest that I can get you to try to imagine is, is when you mourn somebody or mourn the loss. And that's how I felt for a long time. Mm -hmm. That it, it really affected me. Um, being uh, tearful and, and, and crying at times and... Um, all those things that come with remembering the good times, knowing that I can no longer be at the place that I love so much. So it hurt tremendously, but at the same time, the, my teammates in Denver, they, they didn't care about that. All they knew, they were expecting something when, they, when I came into the locker room. 
And so I had to go be everything that I could for my new teammates, even though I was hurt so bad. Did you feel like you had something to prove? Because you did. You went there and had an awesome team. I always felt that I had something to prove. And that just gave me more. I'm one of those people that put negativity and put things into a pile right. to help me burn the fuel that I use right. so that I can perform better. And okay. that just it gave me a whole lot more. All right, so I have, I have a, a, a question for you. Um, I want you to look on the screen. Here's a picture of one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play Ohio High School football. And I want you to, want you to answer the honest question. I mean, I, had the moves of Barry Sanders. Sure. He had the arm of Joe Flacco. <laughs> Do you think he could tackle this guy in the open field? Right, go back, please. Let me see that one more time. Yeah. That's you on the ground. Yeah, right? I would not be doing that. <laughs> Definitely would not be doing all right, that. So I got a favor, all right? So honestly, it would have been fun going against you once. You would, I don't think you would have broken all my bones, just most of my bones. But our arts pastor, since I don't have an opportunity to like hit you, do that drill and you can hit me and yeah. then I'll hit you back to see who's tough it because I mean it's it's up in the air right now, which is <laughs> you can arm wrestle, but I'm having back surgery in three days. So I my arm my arts pastor to come on out here. Ben, where are you? Oh my god. <laughs> I want to ask you to do is I want you to quickly arm wrestle my arch. Oh my god! <laughs> we chose him because we're fairly certain he's the only guy you're not going to rip his arm off his torso. Okay, so here we go. Can we do this? Is this all right? All right. Are you okay? You're, I mean, you're getting up there in years, man. <laughs>